<laughs> oh, these ones move. You put these ones in. This might look and sound like playtime at Stono Park Elementary School. It's actually a result of classwork through Code to the Future. Code to the Future is the nation's first comprehensive solution for computer science immersion. The organization's mission is to inspire students to become aware of their incredible potential and equip them with the skills necessary for success in school and life. Essentially, through the curriculum from Code to the Future, students at Stono Park, all the way through fifth grade, are coding in all of their core subjects. I know the benefits from introducing this type of program at an early age. Some students who may not, the content things may not be their strength, um, finding that those areas they can become stronger in, they just don't know that they're becoming strong in those areas. Jessica Collins is the computer lab teacher at Stono Park, and when she learned about coding being implemented across the board at the school, she knew this was a game changer. It's a huge thing to give a, a child a dream, to give them something to look towards a goal that they can be an expert in this. Whether we're on the playground, in the classroom, wherever we are, I want these kids to understand how to solve problems without a grown-up stepping in to solve it for them. Scratch is providing that on the computer side of things. So where now they're creating programs, if something doesn't work, all right, time to try again. Glenn Tollefson, a kindergarten teacher at Stono Park, said this has been a learning process for the staff, but seeing how it's paying off now and could pay off in the future for the kids has made the work worth it. A lot of them have taken right on, you know, jumped right on board with it because we do see what the long-term benefits could be. And you know, ultimately that's what we're here for, help our kids get further into the future, not just further into the next grade level. And computer science is, is the way to go. Stono Park is Charleston County School District's first Code to the Future school, something that is a source of pride for the students there. Every time our teachers say that we are going to create a new game, you can just like see the excitement on their faces. So I was very excited and I just wanted to start at it right away. While this approach is expected to help these students improve and become stronger in academic standards, it's also teaching them important skills for students like Lanaya here. In fact, it's motivating them to consider possible careers in computer science. First, I was thinking about being a chef because I like to cook, but now I think I want to work at Google. When I grow up, I want to be a scientist slash robotic man. And I like, well not like as a robotic person, but I want to make robotics and stuff. Another positive effect is the collective mental shift in the Stono Park student body. They have been encouraged and empowered to go from consumers to creators and producers. The world is going to open up to them. They're not just going to be somebody who might have a you know, minimum wage job, but they're going to be somebody who creates the program that runs a company, that runs you know, a doctor's office, that runs a factory. I think it helps me look more into things, like look deeper into like, what's really behind the surface of most things. The students and staff recently shared their progress in the first cycle of coding with parents and community members at a showcase event. Now they are moving into the second cycle, where they will work with Legos and robotics. Now it's taking it to another level of actually creating something like an actual um, object to making it move and seeing it come to life and seeing how you can use that concept on an everyday, you know, sometimes on an everyday basis. Coding. Legos and robotics to grasp concepts in all areas of education? No doubt, Stono Park Elementary has embraced learning in the 21st century. From west of the Ashley, for the stories of CCSD, I'm Andy Pruitt. Okay, so now we have, let's pick a backdrop. Okay, so we need to be talking about the beach in Rio. Or, why are we on the beach? How about, why not?